I'm here with Stan Schultz, owner of Schultz and Summers Engineering. We're just talking a little bit about the FERC issue. Obviously, this has garnered a lot of attention, uh, congressional delegation. Uh, what do you think uh, is the reason why this has all of a sudden popped up here at the lake? Well, it all has to do with the FERC relicensing and the shoreline management plan that Ameren turned in as part of their relicensing. And for the first 50 years of the lake's history, the Corps managed uh, any permits on the shoreline. And in the early 80s, it got turned over to Ameren. And this last relicensing uh, period, it ended up being that uh, FERC decided that they were gonna have more of an impact on how the shoreline was managed. What's unique is as late as 2008, the comments that FERC made back to Ameren, there was no mention of uh, structures that went over the boundary line being a problem. But from 2008 until today, it's become a huge issue. Amher UE has uh, decided that they're going to ask FERC to let them move the property boundary line all the way down to the water so that they could take in some of these uh, properties that are having some property disputes. Uh, do you think that's the right thing? Or do you think that's going to help solve the problem here at the lake? Well, Amherst has asked for FERC for permission to reestablish their boundary line in areas that there has been some encroachments. And that would be a definite positive impact on the sale of real estate and it would mean great things for all of us that's involved in the sale of real estate here at the lake including realtors and title companies and anybody involved in the transaction so yes it'd be a, a great idea for them to move their boundary line yes it is important that Ameren receive approval from FERC to be able to reestablish their boundary line for one simple fact there's people who stand to lose their homes these are homes that have many times been built for 50 years Sometimes there are homes that are new that were built in areas that was, didn't uh, seem to be a problem. So by Ameren reestablishing this, it protects homeowners' rights and it protects their values. And it's the right thing to do. And everybody that's involved in this matter agrees, I believe, that it is the right thing to do. Now, what, you own a surveying company. What can you do as a surveyor to, to, uh, for a homeowner that may be affected by this? Uh, as a small business owner here at the lake, uh, some of the things that, that we're doing to try and help the community get through this is we've established a, a, a pricing scheme that is fair and reasonable and is understandable to the public. For instance, the FEMA uh, flood certification issue is a separate issue from FERC, but that's really what initiates most of the phone calls in my office. And it's different from FERC, but we've established a $400 flat rate to do a flood cert. If you want the uh, shoreline management line, boundary line mark, you charge $150 extra for that. And then if you have a lot that is in subdivision that borders the lake, we're trying our best to just do a flat rate of $1,000 to have that survey and spot your house on that lot so that you have the information that you need to go to Ameren. And if there's no encroachments, you need to, have to match that in their file and to file it away, and you should have no problems after that. Okay, so that's if uh, you're not in the boundary area, but what if you are in the boundary area? Does the survey help you at all in that situation? Well, if you have a survey and you end up having an encroachment that is in the boundary area, you're already a step ahead uh, in the process of having that resolved. Ameren is expecting to get uh, some direction and resolution soon from FERC on how they're gonna handle those issues. So those folks that have encroachments and have surveys will be prepared to take advantage of the new rules as they become uh, known. So as a small business owner here at the lake, you're, uh, you're affected by this too. I mean, how bad is this going to be for the lake area? The biggest problem, as I see it here at the lake right now, is just simply the uncertainty of what's going to happen. Probably what's going to happen is not going to have a, a huge impact on the normal transaction of real estate. But what it's done is it's taken folks that live in metropolitan areas that have aggressive uh, media and newspaper. Even the Boston Globe reported a story about the problems at Lake of the Ozarks with this FERC issue. So the buyers are going to be a little skittish until this issue is resolved. It's going to get resolved. It's going to get resolved without a bunch of houses being torn down. I'm confident it's just a matter of waiting until that happens.